Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Donruss Football 20 box uh, blaster break number one. One spot gets you two random teams and all teams are in. No veteran commons will ship as usual for stuff like this. Big thanks to these folks for getting into it. Let's double it up. And there's all 32 teams here. And let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six into two, eight times for each list. One, two, three, four, six. And eighth and final time after eight, we've got Joey down to Chris. Six into two, eight times for the teams. One. Two. And eighth and final time. After eight times, we got Atlanta down to Buffalo. Buffalo! Like Buffalo gold. All right, trades are allowed. Remember, this is the current draft class. This is 2020 Donner's football, Panini Donner's football. Joey with the Falcons, Matthew with the Bears, John with the Seahawks, Christopher with the Cardinals, Tamer with the Browns, Mark with the Texans, Zachary, Chiefs, Mark Nation with the Cowboys, Chris Parent with the Broncos, John with the Dolphins and Vikings, Tamer with the Panthers, Jeff with the Ravens, Matt with the Packers, Jeff with the Giants, Joey with the Titans, Matthew with the Buccaneers, Christopher with the Colts, Jeff with the Raiders, uh, with my Raiders, Matthew with the Niners, John with the uh, Rams, Jeff with the Patriots, Zach with the Washington football team, John Paul with the Jags, Matt with the Lions, John G with the Steelers, John B with the Bengals, uh, Matthew Shiro with the Saints, Christopher with the Jets, John B with the Chargers, Chris P, Christopher P with the Eagles, and Chris Parent with the Buffalo Bills. So let's put this all on one screen right here. Let's sort by column B. Let's box it up. Let's center it up. And let's hit the pause button. And when we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And then we'll have the break. Stick around. All right. Welcome back, everybody. So there were no trades. So that list right here on the 29th of September remains the same. Tamer, double last spot, Mojo, Panthers, and Browns. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Appreciate it. And let's actually set this aside here and get all these boxes out of here. So there's Donner's Football Blaster Edition 20 box. So we're doing all 20 boxes? Let me double check. Yeah, 20 box blaster. see on the top camera organizing everything right there so there's a row of five back there here's another row of five right here to make ten and then another row of five right here and right here five ten fifteen twenty all right let's open up a uh, should we just go a row at a time that might be a little a little easier Go a row at a time. Texans not signing Earl Thomas, apparently. Hmm. They sent him home before a tryout? Why? Hmm. So they invite Earl Thomas to travel around, and then they say no, no thanks. Well, it happened, folks. The Titans got the COVID. I don't know who, but someone got it. A few people have it. And then three three players, five personnel, I think. So we'll see what happens with that game. I think they have contingencies, though. They, they built in some, some cushion at the end of the season to replay a game if necessary. How does that affect our fantasy teams, though? I don't know. So we'll have to find out. But then, so they shut down their facilities for the week, no practice. And then they they play the 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 Vikings 
on Sunday. So now the Vikings were affected. They had to shut things down. Not the Vikings' fault. They were clean. What a what a what a bummer for them. So. It happens. And then that affects whoever the Titans are playing this weekend. I don't know who the, who are the Titans playing this weekend. That affects that team too. Come on, Titans. Or those three play those eight people on the Titans. And things were going so well too. That's the risk of the, the no bubble, I suppose. It's the no the no bubble risk. That's right. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's 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 case break again. Not sure why Nightbot is not dropping the schedule today, folks. But but if you look at the pinned tweet, the pinned tweet, the pinned uh, chat, that is. All right there, that'll give you the break schedule. If that uh, you can see on the top camera, move the box up there. Actually, this break might take longer than I thought. I was going to say this break. There's Carson Wentz right there, Relic. I was going to say that Bowman Chrome break might be pushed back a little bit if it if it fills earlier, but I actually think this is going to take me a little bit longer than I thought. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Just sell it out and we'll make it happen. Oh, downtown Henry Ruggs. That's what downtown Vegas looks like? Who are these characters right here? What, who are these? They like, look like swashbucklers and then they just throw a scorpion in there? Hmm. No, I feel like they could have done something else to represent Las Vegas. All right, well, anyhow, that go the Raiders downtown card, which I really love, go to Jeff, and the Wentz relic will go to Christopher P. and the Eagles. Wait, there's, there's a Falcon who has, who got COVID too? I guess it was inevitable. Yeah, you'll you'll get you'll get all the all the Falcon cards, Joey. Just not the uh, veteran comments, per the item description. Brandon, I got some got some targets on Sunday. And all those will go to Matthew Shearer and the Niners. Got out of five hundred, DK Metcalf, who's been having a good, good second year, thus far. There's Cole Komet for the Bears, rookie phenoms. Nick Foles is in. I guess for the rest of the season. That'll be for Matthew Shearer and the Bears. And more speaking of the Bears, they they, they played the uh, played the Falcons more sad times for the Falcons. I'm surprised Dan Quinn still has a job after the Bears came back and well Nick Foles brought the Bears back and beat beat the beat the Falcons. I feel like they're just kind of snake bitten at this point. Like every time they're up and they're a, a comeback, just even the a, a smidgen of a comeback seems to start. I feel like I feel like they just it's in their heads now. I 
There's Chris Godwin, Dominator's insert. It's in their heads. There's Big Ben. few boxes at a time. All right, we've got this card just lying around like this. What is this? It wasn't even inside a pack. Well, there's Rise and Shine, Derrick Henry. Kind of on a heavier card, so it almost feels like a magnet. It is a magnet. That's really cool. Nice. A Derrick Henry magnet going to Joey and the Titans. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Hmm. Have fun with that. How, how often do these magnets pop? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's a magnet, Johnny. What else is happening in the... Uh, the Broncos giving Brett Rippon a start at QB for Jets matchup. Hmm. Lions like to roll with uh, Adrian Peterson as their lead running back. Stop what, Joey? Oh, another magnet. Wow. Man, that's my new favorite thing now. Rise and shine, rise and shine, Jimmy Garoppolo. That goes to Matthew and the Niners. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to stop, Joey. Might be lagging behind. Make sure you're watching live, everybody. Is there anyone here in the chat besides Johnny and Joey? I don't see anybody. 37 people watching, allegedly. Nobody chatting. What's going on? All right, Tamara's here. Brian Edwards getting some getting some more targets, some more looks for my Raiders. And there is Kenny Galladay, Dominators. Just want to make sure I'm not missing any Joe Burrows or whatnot. There's a Joe Burrow right here. Joe Burrow on the cusp of uh, of his first win sometime soon. It's going to happen soon. He's looking pretty good on the field. There he is, Bengals. John Birch with that one. A couple Chargers here. What what happened to Justin Herbert? Sean Jaspi? Hmm. Did he? <laughs> okay. It just wasn't a lot of offense there. Mm. 
just didn't feel very impressive then. That was a, that was a, that was a quiet 300 yards. 16 points, that's it? Justin Herbert only managed 16 points? One touchdown? Hmm. Another magnet. This time it's Todd Gurley, Falcons. Joey saying his Falcons are going to turn it around, but they should fire Dan Quinn. Yeah, what does Dan Quinn have on, on, uh, on blank, on the blank family? He must he must have something on Arthur. This is like uh, this is like when the Bengals hang on to I think Marvin Williams, right? For like two or three seasons longer than they really should have. I mean, I don't know if it, it's just out of abundance of. I mean, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a, a, an abundance of ownership's loyalty to a head coach that they've worked with for a long time. But, but I mean, at some point you got to do, you know, I, you, let's say your owner's friends with a coach, right? At some point you got you got to have the, the, the entire team, the best interest of the entire team there. Johnny saying if they had a championship for choke jobs, Falcons wouldn't. Yeah, it's not, it's not good. That's not a. It's demoralizing too. You know, not only for fans but for the players as well. I don't know what the locker room chemistry is like, but it's got to be rough. If if there's if there, if there's any finger pointing or it's your fault, my fault, his fault, their fault, coach's fault, players' fault, it can get really bad. There's Clyde Edwards Hilaire, Chiefs. That will be for Zach, who has Kansas City. And there's Jake from State Farm. Elite series insert. There's Mikai Benton, Becton to 100. We'll sleeve and top load all those before they head out. Who? No. They call him Mount They call him Mount Becton? Wow. Did you guys see that Devin here's Devin Duvernay, the rookies. What a great ninety three yard touch or a touch on, yeah. Kickoff return. That was pretty exciting. I think that was the only only offense really the Ravens were able to muster yesterday. So they call him Mount Becton, huh? He is. They only show him running in shorts right here. 6'7", 364 pounds? Wow. 6'7"? Six, 364 pounds. <laughs> that doesn't even... That's like trying to process what the, uh, what the, the size of the universe is. Yeah, Jake, Johnny's saying Jake Fromm will never see the field in Buffalo. Yeah, because of, this guy seems to be playing pretty darn well. Yeah, Tamara's saying, yeah, he's a big boy. I know that's a vet common, but Tom Brady in his... Uh, his jersey right here. Marvin Lewis. Yeah, Joe, you're lagging behind. You gotta, you gotta hit the live button. I think you're talking about things we talked about a few minutes ago. I said Marvin Williams, right? That's a receiver. I meant Marvin Lewis, a Cincinnati coach.
Tom Brady right there. When does Tua see the field? Is it, is it Tua time yet? I feel like Fitzpatrick has been doing, doing well enough. Oh, I don't know. I missed that. Was there a Sean Taylor card back there? Let's open up a few more of these. Every week, I, I know Brian Fitzpatrick's a good dude, but I kind of root for him to uh, not do well, so we can get uh, get Tua in into the action. That'd be hashtag good for the hobby. Review how how Sean's spicy hot takes. Oh, they were so bad. Went, they were so bad. Oh. Haskins. Sean Jaspi had predicted a monster game from Dwayne Haskins. Three hundred. He predicted three hundred and thirty passing yards. Not even close. Three passing TDs. Did he even have one? Fifty or more rushing yards and a rushing TD. Nope. No. He predicted 420 or more total yards and five TDs from Justin Herbert. No. And Melvin Gordon, 170 or more total yards and two TDs. No. It was pretty bad. Yeah, it's awesome. Stay, stay tuned this week for more of Sean's hot takes. Predictably, I went 50-50 in all my picks. <laughs> Although I did hit my cat team parlay, which is pretty great. The Cincinnati, I guess the tie counts as a win for me, according to my book. So I, they gave me that. And I, I got Carolina and Detroit. So my cat team parlay hit. Johnny saying, as a Maryland Terps fan... There's Darrington Evans, by the way, rookie phenoms rally. You can't wait to see Tua's brother as a QB. Is Tua's brother a QB? He transferred, yeah. Oh. What's his name? A Tago Viola, of course. There you go. Let's go Southern California. Let's go the state. Haskins getting roasted in DC, says Johnny. Yeah, he's got to take it to the next level, or else Ron Rivera is not going to be pleased. He'll be looking for QBs. That NFC West is a little rough, folks. It's, yeah, it's Carson Wentz. I talked to Jason Jasby. I was like, Jason, what's wrong with what's wrong with Wentz? And he's just like. Just not, just not throwing a good ball. <laughs> you know, Jason put his scouting hat on and watched some tape, watched the film, and was just like, just bad passes being thrown. There was a stat today, Joe, mm -hmm. said Russell Wilson could throw 46 interceptions in his next 46 passes and still have a good yard higher than Carson Wentz. Wow. Guys, hear that? Sean Jaspi was saying Russell Wilson, in his next 46 pass attempts, can throw 46 interceptions and still have a better QB rating. Is that what you said? QB rating than Carson Wentz. Yeah. Rookie Phenoms, Devin Duvernay. Pretty exciting 
run for him for the Ravens. That's for Jeff and the Purple Birds. Trying to keep an eye out for the uh, for those QBs. Herbert, Tua, Burrow. I see, we saw a Burrow rated rookie, but I feel like we've not seen Herbert. We've not seen Tua. Crazy thing about the NFC East is that is that the even with the tie. The Eagles could still win that division. They can go seven, eight, and one or something like that. They could win. There's another Joe Burrow right here. So Bengals, John Birch, you'll get you'll get those Joe Burrows, and if I happen to miss any, those will go to you as well. Sean, how often does the Marvels come out? Are you talking about like? Like Upper Deck Marvel product? No, no, I think there's a Marvel insert in those. Oh, Marvel insert in these? I don't know. You know, like the ones they did for Donald Trump? Yeah. Uh, you can roll to the Snoop Bowl and they're not rookies, laundry time. I don't know, I can't really spot it in the small print right here, but. Yeah, these are blasters. Oh, you think it's just in retail? Well, these are blasters. All right, next few boxes. Yeah, the, the Washington football team, that's Johnny's team right there. Washington football team still in first place. Yeah, we haven't seen any yet, Sean. No, no marvels yet. Haskins, what does he have to do? Just get better as a quarterback? Yeah, he needs to evolve. Quarterbacks coaches need to work with him. Almost halfway through the break, folks. Got about another 30, 35 minutes or so to go in this after we finish these few boxes here. Still a lot of time to see some big names, so let's, let's hope. Only two left for Bowman Cone break number four. So that's going to come up uh, after this, I think. In fact, that might, that might bring us pretty close to the 8, 8.30, 8.45 mark. We'll have Sean tag in, and he'll do that double header for you because it'll just be about late night time anyway. So get that going and then we'll see what else we can accomplish tonight. How did my how did my picks do? I did not make did, did not win the Thursday pick. Had Vegas on the money line which 
was just a mistake. Oh, Rams plus two and a half. Man, that was brutal. Was that a pass interference at the end? Yeah? About a pass interference? Yeah, that is kind of funny. I mean, I was only angry because I felt like it was a bad beat, but was it really a pass interference? No, I didn't. It was TJ Hawkinson. Oh, weird. Lions, that's Matt Medlin with that relic. There's our first Tua right there. Sean uh, is Sean A in the chat is saying, I'm, I'm on Oahu and Tua's brother is supposed to be better than him. Have we gotten an idea of what Tua's brother's name is? Um, Instead of being Tua's brother? No, but that's... <laughs> I don't think his brother's supposed to be better because his brother was also in Alabama and transferred to Maryland because of Bryce, uh, Bryce Young from Modern Day. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So. All right, well, that's the first Tua there for John. Well, you know so much that Sean, Sean A in the chat is saying Tua Leah. That's going to be a little confusing, isn't it? Does he have a nickname? I wonder if they'll have like uh, Tua and Tua Leah dual autographs. That'd be pretty cool. It's Jalen Hurts. There's Jalen Hurts relic for the Eagles, Christopher P. When will is it crazy talk to ask <laughs> to ask if uh, when Jalen Hurts gets his first start? There's LaVisca Chenault Jr. I mean, if Wentz continues to struggle, maybe maybe they give him a week off. There's a rated rookie optic look right here. Uh, that is for John and the Jags. LaVisca Chenault Jr. has been looking all right. Chiefs, Zachary with that one. We got Sam Darnold. Jets really struggling. That goes to Christopher P. and the New York J E T S Jets, Jets, Jets. Thank you. 
All right, we've got 10 boxes to go. Like I said, about another 30, 35 minutes to go, let, go in this break. And then we'll uh, go from there. Tamara thinks, what, the Jets get the W on Thursday night? Is that the, is that the game coming up? Sam Darnold looks like a Lego man. I mean, I guess he really doesn't have a lot of help around him either. And that's another thing. Uh, Denver is at New York. I got you. So short week and traveling to the East Coast for uh, for Denver. Well, someone's got to win. They're both 0-3, I think. I mean, if, if the Jets don't win that one at home, I, I mean, I don't know what happens. I mean, I mean, Gates can't get fired, right? I mean, they just signed him a couple years ago. Wow, they're already saying that if, if he loses, he gets fired. Jeez, I mean it's not that that team. That team is so it's just there's not much left on that team. They got to give them a couple years or so to to really. They're kind of deconstructing. They got to reconstruct. Might be a little unfair, but I don't know. Yeah, Titans will probably be undefeated this week, Brad. By not, yeah, no, we get it. <laughs> By not playing, right? Hi, Brad. Um, uh, so all the, so Tamara saying all the sports talk radios. That's what it is. Gase in or out? All right. All right. Right. But it's not like the team was constructed very well either. Who's like the GM out there? Like what's happening there? Players want to leave the team. I mean, they're, they're, what's going on with their drafts? Like I don't, I don't know. So. Another, another couple boxes here. All right, Tamara saying Joe Douglas did a decent job with the draft. All right, like maybe it's then, then yeah, maybe it's got to be the coaching. Adam Gase is not that old, right? No. So, you know, he's probably one. It's one of those situations where he goes and turns into a coordinator for a while, and then will come back as a head coach someday. Like Josh McDaniels. Yeah, what's what's Josh McDaniels doing? I know, but I mean, like, I thought he would have gone and taken it. Oh, I think he's waiting for Belichick to retire. Yeah, That's what it is. There's Brandon Nayak for the Niners, Matthew Shearer. Oh, jeez. Easton Stick is not the answer. Stop, right, stop right, pinning your hopes on East. Easton Stick. No, Easton Stick is not irrelevant because of uh, Justin Herbert. Just Speaking of which, we have not seen a Justin Herbert rated rookie card yet. Sean is a, Sean Jaspi has a man crush on Easton Stick. Rightfully so. <laughs> there, see, you heard it here first, folks. Here's Baker Mayfield. They made eye contact at a bar once. Twice, sorry, twice they made eye contact at a bar. Oh God, you 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 attacked him. Cleveland Browns to Marque with that. With the Baker Mayfield relic, uh, you you accosted him. He's trying to have a good time with his friends, and 
You're like, hey, Mr. Did you call him Mr. Stick? Like, Easton. 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 <laughs> Come take a picture with me. <laughs> Easton. <laughs> Boy, Sean stalking Chargers players in Los Angeles. Or would they put James Morgan in on the action for the Jets? There's James Morgan rated rookie. They give him give him a game or two. This looks different. We got white hot rookies, Jalen Ragor. There you go. That goes to the Eagles. That's for Christopher P. I've, that's like the first one we've seen in like twelve boxes, so I'm assuming. Oh, White Hot's even shorter printed. Cuz it's usually Red Hot? I believe so. Yeah, that's one of my uh one of my favorite candies, the Red Hot. It's a garbage candy. It's a garbage candy? What are you talking about? What? No, oh, the the Red Hot is the Red Hot hard candy is delicious. It's like garbage candy. It's not garbage candy. It's not like the Raiders. It's no, it's it's delicious. Wow, the candy that they leave out as uh, at the dry cleaners. Wow. Just like the ones in like a bowl where everyone's hands oh, have been yeah. in there. Oh, yeah. uh, Joey also does not like the Red Hot. Mm, I like the Red Hot. I'm gonna stand by, stand by my guys. The Red Hot hard candy. Of course, the best hard candy is uh, is the lemon drop, an old fashioned lemon drop. Joey likes Mike and Ike's. Mike, get get Mike and Ike's out of here. No, I'll Red Hot's greater than symbol Mike and Ike's. Mike and Ike's, uh, they 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 just look like like they shape like Tylenols and they taste like Tylenols. Red Hots do end up under my car seat. That is for sure. No, Tam Tamer likes Mike and Ike's as well? No, I'm not on the Mike and Ike's train. Nor am I on the Lemonheads train. I don't, I don't like, the, uh, I don't like the, the, the chewy. I don't like the chewy on the outside. Root beer barrels? Those are okay. I mean, it wouldn't crack my top 10 candy. I mean, that's more of a chewy candy, right? Are you talking about the... No, I've never had that before. Tamar K likes chewy runts. I don't... I, I tend not to have too much chewy candy. It's bad for your teeth. I mean, candy's bad anyway. I'm splitting hairs on like... I was going to try to tell you that. Hard candies are less bad for your teeth. No, they're all bad for your teeth. But the chewy just gets all or it gets stuck in between your teeth. I if I do do a chewy candy though, it's uh, sour Skittles. That's for sure. That's, that's that's the best best chewy candy. Swedish fish? Not into there. There is a big 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 Swedish fish crew out there in the world, but I'm not all, I'm not on Swedish fish. Best chewy candy for me. Sour Skittles. I tend to like a sour candy. I'm already sweet enough, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, what? What is? It's just it's it's like a candy shell on the outside. It, it, it could easily be 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 broken open by 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 one's teeth. Sour Patch Kids is a pretty is a pretty good sour candy. They changed the formula though, in the last five years or so. It used to be a lot more sour Sour Patch Kids. Now they're just like Sugar Patch Kids.
What about the atomic fireball? No. No, so you don't like maybe you're not a cinnamon cinnamon hot candy candy guy. Hmm. Oh, that's awesome, but, Eckler. But that's also why I feel like Red Hot are like a one of those things behind like a hmm. Brad is in on the warhead, so is Joey. What what is a Haribo twin snake? Isn't Haribo the company that does here's another Joe Burrow for the Bengals, John Birch. Isn't Haribo that does the is the company that does gummy bears? But I don't know what a they, they have a snake product too. Yeah, like gummy, snakes. gummy snakes, I guess. But they make snakes. Is that what you're saying, Brad? Uh, Jason Jaspi chiming in with the sweet tart ropes. I do like the sweet tart hard, hard candy. Ropes I get stuck in. I mean, I like them, but it gets stuck in my teeth, and then I regret it afterwards. Twin snakes. One is sweet. One is sour. Interesting. Okay, I gotta try. I gotta try that. Joey's saying worst candy ever is a tie for juju beads and good and plenties. What is a good and plenty? That sounds like that's a Mike and Ike basically, isn't it? Yeah, hard pass, hard pass. Uh, the worst candy. There's another Baker Mayfield for it's Mayor K. The worst candy is the candy corn. A popular fall candy. Those are terrible. No, those are terrible. They're the worst. No, no. Can candy corn is awful. No, I, 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 love, I love Peeps. I eat Peeps all the time. I don't eat Peeps all the time. But, uh... What? Peeps are pretty good. I can only have one per per year though. <laughs> Denzel Mims. The Peeps once did a uh, once did a contest in conjunction with National Geographic, a photo contest. I took a photo of a peep at uh at the horse racing track. Did not win. Did not win. It was a good shot though. It was a nice portrait shot of a peep on the railing at the horse racing track with the horses zooming by, kind of blurry in the background. It was a pretty good shot, I thought. But, uh, no. National Geographic said no. I don't know if, I, yeah, I don't know, maybe the wholesome thing was an issue. I don't know, that, but I mean, some peep on like a miniature boat in a lake or something like that one. And that was the uh, that was the end of my National Geographic photography career, right? Yeah, Johnny's saying candy candy corn is 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 terrible. <laughs> you like candy corn, Sean Jaspi? You love it. So like so once once it turns October, you'll just be crushing candy corns. You buy it in November. That's but that's off season. That's still candy fresh. is seasonal. Fresh and cheap. Candy is seasonal. No, you can only have candy corn in October. That's wrong. You can't have it after Easter. You can't. And Easter changes every. So it's different every year. But you you can't have peeps after Easter. That's just fact. Where is Justin Herbert in this? That's like the we saw a couple Tua's, we saw a couple Joe Burrows, because these blaster breaks. I mean, really, it's the rated rookie cards and potential short prints is really the whole point of this. <laughs> there's no, there's not a lot of autographs. You, 
Barely. I think there's no autographs. If there is any, it's pretty rare. These blaster boxes are all about relics, like that Jarrett Sidham, and parallels. Jeff K. with the uh, Jarrett Sidham. All right, all right, okay. A, uh, a chewy candy that I'm all in on. Jason Jaspi and I are, are, uh, are aligned with this. The Starburst Jelly Bean. Ooh. Ooh. The star, yeah, they can get a little sour. They can get a little sour. But the, the, the Starburst Jelly Bean, man. Perfect for Easter. You put them in a plastic egg that pops open in the middle. Maybe you hide them for yourself and you look for it around the house during... I don't know. They do. They do have a Starburst jelly bean all year long. But there are Easter editions, though. Mm. Yeah. Starburst jelly beans. What a great idea. Regular Starburst? Eh. Little too, little, little too chewy for me. Get stuck in your teeth. Yeah, yeah. Well, when I was uh, when I was twelve years old, I started reading the newspaper. You got to read the newspaper, folks. It's better in print. I've done that before, Brad. I have uh, I have gotten myself in a state the day before Easter, and uh, and hide candy filled plastic eggs around the house. And then try to find them the next day. Smarties are all right. Who mentioned Smarties? Joey, maybe Smarties are all right. I do like uh, yeah, the regular the regular sweet tart is pretty good. The sweet tart is solid. Are we, are we into chocolate, boys and girls? I'm a dark chocolate guy. 70% and up. 60 to 80% dark chocolate. That's that's for me. Just dark, bitter, bitter chocolate. Because I'm sweet enough, folks. I'm sweet enough. That's where Justin Herbert is. <laughs> is that your safe word, Brad? Isn't that isn't that an island in the Caribbean? Chocolate covered almonds jar is dangerous. Chocolate covered almonds? That sounds good. Do they have a dark chocolate covered yeah, I almond? I don't know if they have a dark chocolate, but I'm um, sure they do. But maybe not there. Dark chocolate. That's, I just like the original like Hershey's with almonds. That's, that's, the one I like. that's good. Hershey's Special Dark is also pretty good. I like getting those mini candies. Hershey's. Yeah, Ikea's chocolate bars? Have you tried those? I have. I have. They've got some good chocolate out there. I like Ikea. Uh, hazelnut. I also like a... Sometimes you can get like fancy chocolate with like a, a little bit of raspberry up in there. I remember you that used to get dark some, chocolate. Used to get some dark chocolates from like Whole Foods. Yeah, the Whole Foods has a really good dark chocolate with some tart raspberry in there. It's good. A little bit of sour, a little bit of bitterness from the dark chocolate. There's TJ Hawkinson, Hawk for the Lions, Matt Medlin. Chocolate covered bacon. I've not tried that. Andy's mints are pretty good. Straight from the from the Andes. Chocolate covered espresso beans, I'm all about. Those are pretty good. We've got r Risins, raisins are great if you like dark chocolate. Is that, what if you don't like a, a raisin? What about a Rolo? A Rolo. What is uh, that? No, that's too chewy in the middle. You can see that I have a thing with chewiness. You can't have too much chewy. 
I know, actually, I was going to say that. <laughs> you, can't, you can't have too much. It just gets in your teeth. It just grows. You, you got to brush your teeth like four times. You know, you can't have that. Can't have that. Candy bar? A three musketeer. Yeah, but there's no like caramel inside like a Snickers. You see what I mean? So it doesn't get stuck in your teeth. Here's Daniel Jones. No, no, you got to take care of your teeth well, as best as possible. Yeah, the three musketeer. What? What do you, what's your favorite chocolate bar then, Mr. Exciting Chocolate Bar Man? Heath bars? That's like a, that's not really a chocolate bar, isn't it? I like Heath bar, but I also like a, um, a whatchamacallit. You like whatchamacallits? I do. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, what happened to the whatchamacallit? Where the hell is Justin Herbert in this? I feel like we got, <laughs> we got a couple Tua's. Got a couple Joe Burrows, some Tom Brady's, some Jordan Loves even. Not seen Herb. There better be like a one of one Justin Herber in that la those last three boxes in the back, folks. No, that's... In Canada, whatchamacallits are just called special crisp. Oh. <laughs> the, the Americans, we couldn't figure out a name for it. It's just, uh, what's gonna call it? I think that's my favorite part about Canada right now. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna call the, it special crisp. Canadians are just, they're like, that's, there is a name for it. There's just a better version. Even in French Canada? Montreal? In, uh... In Montreal, the whatchamacall is called Je ne sais quoi. <laughs> no, Brad says it's a le special crisp. <laughs> Almost done, folks. We're getting there. I guess this break is going to take an hour. In my head, I was like, this is this, no way. But then I think I underestimated the amount of packs that were in each blaster box. It happens, folks. Coming up after this will be a blaster box. And then we'll have Sean tag in. And then uh, he will do the double header break for you. I thought that was going to happen a lot earlier. And I was going to help him pack stack. But no, it's going to happen at the, re the exact time. Gotta find a herb in here. Gotta find a herb. It's, uh, it's, I hate it. Is Sports Center repeating? We've, this break's so long, Sports Center's repeating. Sean, how do you feel about score bars? Well, see, I mean, people, people will. I've gotten into into many arguments. About score versus Heath bar. I got I I got yelled at by a lady friend when I was getting ice cream and thought a score bar would be okay in place of a Heath bar, and I was told that I was told that that a score bar. Is just garbage. Don't even get it. Don't even bring that into the house. Is what I've heard. Joshua Kelly, the rated rookie, still need to find his teammate. And Justin Herbert, but it's a relic. Rookie Phenom's relic. That's not bad, though. John Birch with the Chargers. We found one, John. Do you remember the Burger King? Do you remember the Burger King Connect to find Herb? Brad, no. If you spotted him at BK, you want a bunch of money. No, I don't. I don't remember that. There's Josh Kelly as well. Got him on my fantasy team. Did you draft him or pick him up? 
I picked him up. No, I think in, in the, the other league that I have. Oh, that's Joe Mixon, not Joe Burt. Teddy thought I was going to finish dead last in the league, and I'm like third place. Third or fourth place. Oh, is it? No, oh, man. Teddy's going to have to move back to New York. <laughs> you forgot about that? Was it if you beat him? No, no, no. Teddy thought, after the draft, Teddy thought my team was so bad that he was like, if you win the league, I'll move back to New York. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's got to be fair and square. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even pick up any redraft players. What's up, Arthur? No, I do not remember Fine Herb in BK commercials. I do remember the Avoid the Noid promo. There's Gabriel Davis, the rare auto. You had to... The Noid promo. Remember the guy who went crazy? Regarding the Noid, Gabriel Davis for Buffalo, Chris Parent. Guys, remember the Noid thing back in the day? There's rookie phenoms, Anthony McFarland Jr. I think some guy, some gentleman who uh, I think had mental issues, unfortunately. I think he had some schizophrenia or something like that. Uh, <laughs> thought that the Noid was after him for reals. And I think he had maybe taken a Domino's hostage or something like that. And I don't, know, I don't remember the exact details, but there was a, there was a thing. If you look it up, there's a there, there's a thing. The Noid drove him crazy. Domino stopped using the Noid after that. I mean, they had to. And that's how we found out about Teddy. Right, and then then he works at Jesse's now. Got to avoid the Noid. Boys and girls, avoid the Noid, or he will steal your pizza. All right, last box coming up. Uh-oh. In fantasy, Johnny B is saying, your son benched Tom Brady for Minshew this past weekend, and you laughed all weekend. How old's your son? <laughs> we made it, folks. Last box. I'll do a quick uh, recap here, too. Oh, your son's 21. Okay, good. I was like, if, your son, if those numbers were reversed, if he was like 12, I'd be like, man, that's a little harsh. But yeah, 21, yeah. You can, you can definitely make fun of the kid. You can't, you can't bench Tom Brady. He's only getting, every week, he's getting a little bit better. A little bit better, a little bit better. He doesn't have a noodle arm yet. Like Drew Brees. He's got a lot, and Tom Brady's just got a lot of weapons. Arthur had a good fantasy weekend. I did, I did, I did great in the Jaspi League. Or I guess the old Tops League, which now is a Jaspi League. Which is now is a family league, but I did good there. Won my week, and I just fell, fell a little short in the other league that I'm in. There's Joey Bosa relic for the Bolts. That's going to be for John Birch. Remember, Phil, oh, there's Philip River. Remember Peyton Manning got the noodle arm? Then he won a he won a he won a Super Bowl. What do you have? Oh, you had Alan. oh I picked up Alan Lazard. 
I, I felt really smart because I was deciding between Alan Lazard and Marquez Valdez Scantling. I picked the right Packer. Felt smart. We got a canvas Clyde Edwards Hilaire here for the Chiefs. Got a couple of those for Zachary. You had Michael Gallup, Dak Prescott, Colts defense. And just those four alone won it for you. Everything else is a bonus. That uh, that Seattle Dallas game was pretty pretty fun. We got a white hot rookie James Morgan, another short print right there, for the Jets 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 Christopher P. All right, almost done, folks. Got Odell Beckham Jr., Henry Ruggs III, Alshon Jeffrey, and Patrick Mahomes. His mom said Patrick to the announcers, not Pat. Specifically, Patrick. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks. Let's take a quick look at... The, the cards that we pulled here, get rid of these Kid Reporter cards. So some couple short prints, some relics. There's there's our lone autograph in this, Gabriel Davis, which is not numbered, but it's got the orange border around there, Buffalo Bills, Chris Parent. We did not see, unless I missed one, and the rated rookies will all ship just in case I missed it, but we saw that Joe Burrow rated rookie, a couple Tua rated rookies, some Clyde Edwards Hilaire rated rookies. That Optic Chenault Jr. for the Jags, which went to John Paul Watts. But we did not see Justin Herbert. Unless I missed it, but it'll ship in case I missed. A couple magnets up in this, too. Love the magnets. Got a downtown Henry Ruggs for the Las Vegas Raiders. That'll be for Jeff. And we started off with Carson Wentz for the Fly Eagles Fly. There you go, folks. That was a 20-box blaster break of 2020 Panini Donruss football. Now it's random team break number one. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.